Hello everybody, how's it going? We're talking about designer fragrances that I believe to be worth it. And this list is not going to include any private blend selections, all right? We're going to start with a feminine fragrance here called Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. And this has about 30 notes in it, and it smells like a clusterfuck of sexiness. Now, if you're going to look up what this smells like, I am telling you right now, it is not going to be accurate. You're going to see things there like vanilla, uh, caramel, chocolate, tuberose, doesn't smell like any of those things. What I would suggest you do, if you want to smell it for free, if you live next to Ulta, Sephora, Macy's, Nordstrom, wherever, go spray this on your skin because this is in like every single retail store and see how it performs on you. Another great thing about this fragrance is that it's extremely versatile, so you can use it all seasons, with the exception of a really hot summer day. I have a better option for that one or a better suggestion for that one. But you can dress this up, you can dress it down, it suits all ages, and it's just a great fragrance to start your collection with. Especially if you're somebody that is a beginner and you don't know what you should grab for because there's just so many options, turn your focus to Good Girl. If you want that versatility, you want something that has the freshness, but just a touch of sweetness as well. You know you're getting performance, you know you're getting a massive compliment getter with this fragrance, you're gonna feel confident, and other people around you are really gonna enjoy this scent. So Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. I will put the discount site links in the description in case anybody wants to support the channel. I really appreciate it. So all the discount site links for everything I'm mentioning are gonna be down below. Next is a very obvious answer if, you're, if you've been subscribed to my channel, but Le Nuit de Lome by YSL was one of my, was actually my first signature scent that I picked for myself and I blind bought it. And it was like the best blind buy ever. It's a sexy cardamom fragrance. People are going to tell you that it's like specifically more of a date night scent. But to me, this is very versatile. I have worn this in hot weather. I've worn it when it's really cold and it's been fine. Now, <clears throat> of course, in the, in the high, high heat and humid weather, because this has some sweetness in it, it's not my first pick, but I'm just saying I have worn it in 80 degree weather. It's been fine. I've worn it in 90 degree weather. It's been great too. But like I said, just other things I prefer for that type of heat. But this thing right here is just, this thing is sex in a bottle. It's absolute fire. Now, people are also going to tell you that the performance sucks. And for the most part, I actually got this last year, or no, 2020, like November 2020. Um, and it's not a vintage bottle, anything like that. But it performs really, really well on me. Now, I would say if you get bad performance with Le Nuit de Lome, definitely overspray it because it's not really something you can get. It doesn't turn too cloying or anything like that. This is a very popular fragrance that I would definitely recommend overspraying if you have performance issues, especially if you're going to be outdoors. But a very lovely fragrance, especially when somebody catches a whiff of it in the air or if you're having a one on one conversation and they get closer to you and this sort of radiates, it really draws people in. Like this has gotten me some wild ass reactions the first time or every single time I wear it, to be totally honest with you. But I remember the first time I wore this and the reaction that I got, I have never received before in my life. And that's what kind of got me into wanting to smell more fragrances. Cause I'm like, shit, if I'm getting that type of reaction with a fragrance, I didn't even know these things could do that. I just thought they smelled good, but no, it like this took it to the next level for me. So Le Nuit de Lome, a great fragrance if you want something sexy. Now, <clears throat> I know I mentioned a fresh fragrance for the high heat, and this is still, to me, the best designer fragrance, standard designer fragrance for that category. Now, this is the Women's Light Blue Intense, but I recommend it for literally everybody. Doesn't matter if you're a guy, get the women's version. Doesn't matter if you're somebody super masculine, get the women's version. It's very unisex. Because the masculine one just smells like your typical Ralph Lauren shower gel. It smells very basic, and I'm not saying basic in a bad way, <clears throat> because if you want that, that very familiar scent, then sure, you can go for it. But I'm telling you right now, the women's hits different, way better. And the performance with the Intense, the one I have in my hands right now, eight hours on my skin, no problem. It is still radiating. It's still pushing. The scent trail is nice. It even lingers in the room a little bit. Every time I've been to the beach with this fragrance, I've gotten a compliment with it. It's just, there's something about it that's very carefree, relaxing, 
but still sort of rich. You know what I mean? It has something about it. It has that it factor. Now it's a lemon apple musk fragrance. Very simple, gets the job done and more. All right, next is Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. This I totally recommend if you're looking for your cold weather fragrance, something at nighttime, something that's gonna get head turning reactions. You don't want the typical fresh and clean. You want something that's gonna be sweet, something that's gonna be sultry. This is the way to go. It definitely has the spice in the opening, the name of it is sp like Spice Bomb Extreme, right? Um, it has that tobacco also that adds that punch, but the sweetness from the vanilla in this fragrance is what makes it addictive. Like this scent, I've told this story so many times, but for all the newer people to like new to my channel, I've been interrupted in like three to four conversations when I've worn this fragrance, just for people to tell me I smell amazing and to just put their nose in my sweater. Mid conversation while I'm talking, they're like, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you smell amazing. So this thing has great reach. I love the scent trail of this fragrance whenever I'm just walking around. It just, it has gotten me a lot of head turning reactions and those head turning reactions turn into actual face to face compliments, not just me noticing that somebody's head turned when I walked by, you know what I mean? They've actually approached me to tell me I smelled really good. Now this is marketed as a masculine scent, but ladies don't, don't trip about that. Don't trip about that. I have never worn this and somebody has told me like, you smell like a guy that smells like a dude. No skin chemistry, a huge thing. And typically with sweeter scents, it's very easy for women to get away with it because for the most part, sweet scents are more associated with women in the first place. So if you want something different, you want something that just smells fantastic in cold weather, Spice Bomb Extreme is amazing. Next is a fragrance from Guerlain called Mon Guerlain EDP. This is a lavender vanilla fragrance marketed as a feminine scent. And honestly, this is a beautiful fragrance. If you're someone that is tired of the sexy, fun, youthful scents like Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, you want to just up your collection but still stay in the designer realm, you want something that is going to be almost regal, classy, sophisticated. This is the fragrance that will take you to the next level. It smells so good. It smells just like a person that like she has her shit together. You know what I mean? Like, and it's just, and there's something about that that's very, very attractive. But this scent here is pretty loud in the opening. This is something that I can smell before you enter the room. Like people that wear this fragrance, I have smelled them before they have walked in and it's been lovely. Now the actual longevity of this maybe is around six hours, but I'm telling you wherever you wear this, especially if you're dressed up, so good. So, so good. But still, if you wear this as a signature scent, I think it really does kind of separate you from others around you kind of wearing those typical floral or citrusy or those vanilla sweet fragrances. You know what I mean? This one right here is just femininity in a bottle. I really, really do love it. All right, I'm gonna put you down here. Next, Prada Lom. This is the EDT concentration. Haven't tried the Parfum or the EDP. But this is just a solid fragrance if you want to smell like luxurious fabric softener. That is it. It's marketed as a masculine scent, but the iris in this, which is a floral, is pretty dominant. So I totally recommend this as a unisex fragrance. In fact, there are a lot of women that have got this off my TikTok videos and they have absolutely loved it and people have loved it on them. So that's pretty much it. You want to smell laundry clean, like luxurious laundry clean, then Prada Lone. On top of that, this has really good projection and people dog on the longevity of this, but on me, I have gotten like seven, eight hours, no problem on skin. And this thing it was a fragrance I wore. I was outdoors kind of just running back and forth and somebody followed my scent trail and just asked me what I was wearing to compliment me because they wanted to buy it for themselves. So again, another likable scent that is people going, whoa, they smell good. I need to know what it is. Prada Long EDT. Now, some of you are probably going to be disappointed with my, the ladies at least, when I pull out black opium. You might be like, that's basic. No, I don't want to smell generic. I actually have the extreme version in my hands. I still have love for the original, but if you're somebody that wants a more prominent coffee smell, at least on my skin, 
the coffee here is much more prominent and the vanilla isn't just like your typical basic vanilla. It has this boozy sort of smell to it. And the thing is, I'm somebody that loves unisex fragrances. I hardly reach for something that's strictly feminine, but this is the one feminine scent, or maybe there's two, there's another one, but one like of the sweeter feminine scents that I'm like, oh shit, I would wear that. Like I've worn this and I have fallen in love with myself. But I just know like if my girlfriend wore this, I'd go wild. Like it just, oh, fuck. there's a reason why there's a cult following behind this fragrance. There's a reason why guys and lesbians will know this fragrance because they fucking love it. This is so, so good. I know I'm mainly referring to the original, but like I said, if you want that coffee amped up, you want that vanilla amped up, you want something that's better suited for cold weather, then you gotta get your nose on the extreme, okay? This is my favorite out of all the flankers I've tried, which includes the Intense, the um, Illicit Green, and the Extreme and the Original, if I had to compare all four. But an absolute winner. Now, again, I'll put all the names of the fragrances and the discount site links in the description. If you want to support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Um, the affiliate links, I get a small commission off of that. But of course, buy where you're comfortable, all right? I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.